This conference will now be recorded. Ya Ali Madad. Mala Ali Madad. Thank you so much. And the reason I wish you all to please celebrate with me is because Nur Malana Shakri Mulusini Hajri Imam has mentioned that he is the finest Imam we have ever had. So may I please request you to either your personal experiences during jubilees or point of knowledge from Khudawan Sultan Yazam, Hazrat Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah's uh, memoirs or any of his works. Yasmin Ali Madad. Well, Ali Madad as his well. The greatest different uh, change that Hazrat Imam Aka Sultan Muhammad Shah Salvatullah may our soul be sacrificed to the Imam made was open the Isme Azam to everyone without any discrimination. Subhanallah. Thank you, uh, Azifa. Such a profound point, yeah? Thank you. Yali Madad. Mala Ali Madad. I wanted to compliment Aziz sir by talking about the dunya. I was reading the memoirs and Imam Sultan Moshe had so many high hopes for all the Muslim countries in the world and he worked so hard and Hazri Imam has been exactly following everything what Imam Sultan Moshe did. So I like that similarity and the hard work that the Imam did for the Muslims though the Muslims had a different perspective of us Ismailis. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yali Madad. Mala Ali Madad. Chabnam here. Thank you. I'm just, I'm just really proud of Sultan Muhammad Sa because from starting, he started to, uh, he wanted the girls to get education. First, he, he, he wanted all the girls to get education and that was very, very important. He started from that, that one and then Mola Wapa keep same way, same thing. So I'm really proud of that, what he did for that. For the girls because girls need education a lot of our parents didn't understand that but sultan mamasa forced it everybody to make it the girls to get education and i'm very proud for that thank you shabnam yes he brought the status of ismaili women higher mm -hmm. up more than 50 years compared to any other women in the world including western yeah thank you beautiful he wrote the memoirs for the western world to know, to know about uh our faith and what uh, our religion was yes thank you and his journey amazing yeah i mean the memoirs is not just a book isn't it it's it's more than a book it's a book of deeds it's just the whole universe so thank you everyone for sharing this point in time is really special so thank you again i just wanted to share this image with you and he gave us this concept of mono reality right islam's basic principle is mono realism so it's very different from monotheism if you remember the Usuladin farman and today our topic is jamaat khana so we can make connections with that right how imam himself is the mono real so this was a resurrection that Imam gave the whole universe, right? The resurrection of knowledge in the form of this concept of monoreality. Before that, of course, the Quran has used the word wahida. This image also is very special. Absorb it, enjoy it. So I'm grateful to one and all for celebrating paying homage to our beloved Imam. Even though Noor is one and Noor and Allah Noor is continued, right? But with reference to cycles in a given point in time, the Imam of the Far 48 Imam is very unique indeed. So thanks for helping me. Okay, so today we, are, we will be talking about Jamaat Khana, the house of God. We'll be looking at rewards of Jamaat Khana and how there's peace for all humanity. Yeah? Sirat al-Mustaqim, kinds of Jamaat Khana, summary, and then Dr. Rubina will do 
uh, the Quranic perspective. Yeah? Who can guess what this is? Can tell you. It's a Jamaat Khana in Nairobi. So that's uh, Prince Hussein showcasing his artwork, his photographs, right? Quick review, last time we were talking about false fear and we looked at the physical aspect first. Remember the square, circle and triangle, always physical, spiritual, intellectual. So physically we looked at how if we let our limbic brain be in harmony with the neocortex, which is the logical, the limbic is the emotional, and when they work together, then we can have big performances and we can really work at peak potential within ourselves, right? So we looked at how we can actually uh, balance our uh, emotions with the logic and have the limbic and the neocortex work together, right? We looked at how taqwa, ismet taqwa, is actually at the state of marifat. We looked at how false fear was created or is a product of nafsi amara. So again, this we can relate all this with our own personal jamaat khana. As we'll see in just a moment that there are three kinds of jamaat khana. So it, all this actually is related with the personal jamaat khana. We very quickly looked at this prayer, La Hawla wa la quwata illa billahil aliyil azim. This is a unique prayer. It's a treasure of paradise. So imagine it, how profound it is, right? So what activates the neurons in our brains? This is one way through prophetic prayers. By reciting La Hawla wa la quwata illa billahil aliyil azim, we can actually activate the neurons in our brain with Alila's mercy. Remembering Hazri Imam is paradise. So where is paradise? Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah, our source of sacrifice, has mentioned that paradise is here, right? The four steps that I have created this formula, it is based on the morning prayer. We will be talking about our own personal Jamaatana. So look how empowered we are. Every morning we recite, Ya Allah, Ya Wahab, Ya Ali, Allah Samad. This That's where I get this formula from. And Alama Sahib's teachings of how we can make the human fear transcend into angelic fear, right? Feel the empowerment and the beauty of our prayers. Every morning we are recharged, right? Our uh, batteries are recharged, we are renewed, refreshed. You know, maybe just keep on practicing and have the desire to fly the highest, right? Practices of Jamaat Khana, how do we practice our faith? Nur Malana Shakri Malasini Hazri Imam clearly emphasizes the attendance in Jamaat Khana. And he also says that for those of you who are young, that when you learn your dua, you understand the meaning of dua and seek to be regular. Then he gave blessings for us to be on Sirat al Mustaqim, right? So we will look in momentarily the three kinds of Jamaat Khanas. But what is unique about our dua? Dua is the essence of ibadat. So look at the first half of first part of dua, right? Uh, Surah Al Ham, Bismillahi Rahmani Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman Rahim, Malik Yomidin, uh, Sirat al-Mustaqim. So who is the Sirat al-Mustaqim? Is it a physical road? Is it just an abstract concept? No, Sirat al-Mustaqim is the living Jamaat Khana. Malik Yomidin is the living Jamaat Khana, okay, which is Nur Malana Shakrim al Singh Hazri Imam. So let's now explore. Islam being the religion of nature uh, has two things, equality and levels. So equality meaning that every single human being on earth is equal because we all have the divine spark. But our levels are different. So it depends on individuals, the burning desire of individuals, working hard, struggling hard to have the balance of knowledge and action, prayers, ibadat, and knowledge. Okay? So that's where the levels come in. The four stages of Sirat al-Mustaqim, the level of Shariat, which focuses on the material form. In Usul al-Din, Sultan Muhammad Shah, our Beloved 48th Imam explains very beautifully that after Sharia, there's 
very good. Very good is the part uh, which is Sufism. Okay, it emphasizes personal search. And then above Tariqat is Hakikat, right? So this is very beautiful because previously there was a little soft area here between Tariqat and Hakikat, right? That Sufism, is Sufism above Ismailism? No, Ismailism is above Sufism because Sufism is the path. Okay, so Ismailism is at the level of Hakikat, where we are also given divine vision because Tariqat is the fruit of Sharia, Hakikat is the fruit of Tariqat, and Marifat is the fruit of Hakikat. Okay, and we cannot reach the level of Marifat without divine vision. So that clearly shows us that at the level of Hakikat, there is divine vision which then leads to Marifa. So House of God is also called Qibla in Urdu, it's called Jama'at, and there are different names mentioned in the Holy Quran, which is Qibla, Al-Bayt, uh, Al-Bayt al-Atik, the ancient house, Al-Bayti, Baytullah, House of God, Baytin, Udiya Linnas, the house assigned for humankind, mankind, people, right? And then Al Baytul Haram, which is the sacred house, uh, Al Masjidul Haram, the sacred mosque, right? So, what is the Kaaba then? Is the central house? There is understanding and wisdom, both as the physical and the spiritual, all come in harmony. Masjid is the local house of God built by the Holy Prophet for daily prayers, and Jama'at Khana is the religious house of a community, and specifically us Ismailis. Then we have the personal Jama'at Khana, which is the heart of the Mu'min. And this is a very, very profound hadith. Embrace it. God says, I am contained neither in the heavens nor earth, but the heart of the Mu'min. Historically, we have seen that Hazrat Ibrahim and Hazrat Ismail actually built not just the physical Qibla, not just the physical house of God, but the spiritual house as well. That's why the Quran says, uh, take as your place of prayer the maqam Ibrahim, place of standing of Ibrahim, right? So here actually the reference is that we should not just perform physical prayer but spiritual prayer as well within the spiritual Qibla so it's the personal world with the mercy of the Imam of the time within ourselves we should really focus on spiritual prayers and with that progress we can spiritually reach Al-Baytul Atik the station of Hazrat Ibrahim which is the rank of the Imam at the beginning, as Isba had mentioned, how our beloved 48 Imam opened vows of Baytul Khayal for everyone, all the Murids, right? And that's the path, that's the key, that's actually the process through which we can reach the station of Ibrahim. How profound and lucky. At the level of Sharia, Tariqat, Hakikat, and Marifat, the house of God has different forms and different purposes, right? So the physical at the level of Sharia, we have the Kaaba, the Tarika, we have the Khanika. They have their own shapes and not everyone can enter a Khanika Sufi masters that they follow, right? Jamaat Khana actually is the house of the Imam of the time and only members are allowed during prayer time. Jamaat Khana is open for anyone to visit outside prayer time. And then we have the level of Marifat, which is the luminous Jamaat Khana, universal Jamaat Khana, that is Nur Maulana Shakri Malusini Hazra Imam today, Imam of the time. So Jamaat Khana is a place of reward and peace, and all the divine miracles, all the divine blessings, all the divine treasures are given through the Imam of the time, and we'll see in a moment actually how it is in the geographical Jamaat Khana where everything comes together. So in Jamaat Khana, fortunate moments can 
physically excel in good deeds, sabi kun and sariu. So basically, we can, if we attend Jamaat Khana regularly as its Imam's Farman, then we can rapidly progress spiritually, intellectually, and be ready for luminous miracles. Beautiful Quranic ayat where in the Qibla, the house of God, the Jamaat Khana, so with Allah's command, the divine light is lit in the houses and his name is to be remembered therein. So the, the inner house of God, first and foremost, is the heart of the Holy Prophet and the Imams. And this also is very profound. Dr. Rubina will explain the spiritual beauty of this, where God says that we reveal to Musa and his brother, provide houses for people in Misr. So Misr here actually means a personal world and make your houses kibla, places of worship. That is, give them the status of houses of God by enhancing them spiritually. In Ismailism, places of worship are the, those that are approved by the Imam of the time, because now is the cycle of Imam and Prophet in his time. All of you, I think, can uh, recognize this. It's Darkana of Canada. It now has the status of Ismaili Center Vancouver. So this Jamaat Khana actually is based on the concept of octagon, the square and the circle coming together as an octagon. And so we see the balance of the physical and the spiritual, the deen and dunya. And number eight is symbolic also because according to the mystical letters in the Holy Quran, eight is the number of the Imam of the time. And we are talking about Jamaat Khana. So the living Jamaat Khana is Nur Malana Shah Rimanusini Hazri Imam himself. The three kinds of Jamaat Khanas are the, the physical, which is the geographical. The living Jamaat Khana is Nur Malana Shah Rimanusini Hazri Imam. The geographical Jamaat Khana can be Toronto, Vancouver, Honza, anywhere. The personal Jamaat Khana is our personal world. So in the geographical Jamaat Khana, we have collective prayers, Nur Malana Shakri Malasini Hazri Imam, being the mother of Allah, gives us daily blessings because just as we breathe fresh air, we need fresh blessings. That's why we need prayers every day so that the soul is enlightened and can progress, same with our intellect. Right? This also tells us the principle that in Ismailism, every single thing is alive. The Kursi of Allah is alive. Who is the Kursi of Allah? As mentioned in Masya Kursi of Samawati Wallers, Ayatul Kursi, it's Nur Malana Shah, Kareem Rusini Hazri Muhammad. And then everything converges in our personal world uh, where we can actually actualize and understand who Allah is, who Ali Allah is, who is the Nur, what is the connection, and this is where mono reality is actualized. Yeah, in our personal world. So the living Jamaat Khana, Nur Malana Shah, Krimal Sini, Hazur Imam. So when we love the Imam of the time, then all our trials, tribulations, everything is effaced. And when we love Hazur Imam, no matter what challenges one may have, we will always find a balance. The geographical Jamaat Khana, this is the place where physical, the spiritual, and the intellectual converge and is actually the place where we practice our values, our cultures, you know, we celebrate together, uh, we come together in search for enlightenment. And it is in the physical Jamaat Khana where everything comes together. So the miracles of the personal world the miracles of mono reality that we experience in our personal world actually begin in the physical Jamatana. That is why Nur Malana Shafi Malusini Hazri Imam emphasizes to be regular in the attendance in Jamatana. So we know the hadith here, Mullah Ali is the door and Nabi Muhammad is the city. Uh, this is Mullah Ali saying, he who recognizes his soul recognizes his Lord. So that happens when we actually transcend progress from the wakefulness to the state of imagination. Imagination is very important uh, because you may remember uh, Einstein saying that he never discovered anything 
when he was in his rational mode. We can connect imagination with intuition as well, the world of dreams, which then leads to spirituality. To develop our personal world, we have all the tools and so many techniques. Everything converges in the physical Jamaat. How is Jamaat Khana a place of reward? Nur Malana Shakri Singh has Imam is using the word pluralism. Our beloved 48th Imam uses the word mono reality. Pluralism at its height, in my understanding, equals mono reality. So, how do we find ways of connecting our values with the whole of humanity. So you can see that through the AKDN projects, right? This Quranic verse, he is the first, the last, the manifest, and the hidden. Can Allah be first? Can Allah be last? Can Allah be manifest? Can Allah be hidden? Yes, of course. All these attributes, Allah is beyond all these attributes, right? Uh, so when the idea of shirk or associating partners with Allah comes, it actually relates to the imam of the time. This is a treasure, uh, a special point in the Holy Quran. Or anyone can, what someone quickly tell me, the ginan, uh, uh, Allah ehi imam. Can anyone please tell me, do you know, the, do you know this ginan? Yes, I know. You know, right? It's Allah ehi Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So, see, we we are aware of it, right? Our peers have told us, our scholars, the great scholars of the past, all have told us that Allah ehi imam. Uh, in the Holy Quran, then, when we as Ismailis read the Holy Quran and we come up with the word of Allah, then read it as equal imam, hazar imam. Okay, it will profoundly benefit and increase your joy of uh, Ismaili teachings. There is this beautiful prayer of Imam Jafar Sadiq because we started with mono reality, right? And how uh, Imam has opened basal khayal for everybody and how Nurmal and Shakram and Imam is using pluralism, its highest level uh, mono reality where we as human Ismaili murids of the Imam of the time have the potential to actualize our personal world and merge in the nur of the Imam of the time. Mm, with reference to Imam Muhammad al-Bakir, sorry, yeah, Imam Muhammad al-Bakir, uh, he has said this very, very amazing treasure of recognition, which is makila filahu fahua fina. Fila, uh, for you. Please go ahead. Thank you. Fina. Fina. Fi atina. I mean, thanks. So how beautiful this is. What that means is that whatever is said about Allah is said about us, meaning the Imam of the time. Okay, Imam of the time. Whatever is said about Allah is about the imam of the time and imam jafar sadiq is saying this okay and whatever is said about us meaning the imams its wisdom is that it is said about those of our followers who are advanced those of our followers who are advanced so those means who actualize the force of uh, isma azam alama nasiruddin hunzai sahib has he actualized his personal world with the mercy of the Imam of the time and thus became and merged in the living Jamaat Khanna. Okay, my time is up. So, I'm just, all the benefits of the universal Jamaat Khanna, Nur Malana Shakri Manasini Hazri Imam, are showering upon all humanity through his continual blessings from the AKDN projects, his personal guidance to world leaders, and so much more. Thank you again, and apology for going over my time. Okay, thank you. Sorry for that. Uh, it always like it gives me trouble um, while sharing the screen. So no I will not take much much of the time. Um, but uh, like uh, something which we uh, can reflect on what is Jamaat Khana and what is the Quranic perspective, what is the historical perspective. Uh, so house of Jamaat versus house of God. 
So Baitullah, like Yasmin has said many names, Baitullah, Baiti, my house, or Kaaba, these are all the words uh, which is mentioned in Quran, and they are representing the house of God. Uh, we use his Jamaat Khana, or Masjid uh, and Khanka. So these are all the words which is representing or terms which represents house of Jamaat. Jamaat Khana means the community, a communal and Khana means house. So um, like if we see the debate house of God versus house of Jamaat. So the reason why we uh, use not Baitullah or Baiti or Khan Khana Kaaba because it's a house of Jamaat, which is also the house of God. Because God uh, does not really need uh, a ghar, a house, because he is subhan, he is free from all the attributes, uh, he is kudus, he is samad, he is independent, everything dependent on him. And there is one ayat which says, وَلِلَّهِ مَشْرِقُ وَمَغْرِبُ فَأَيْنَمَا تَبَلُّ فَسَمُّ وَجْهُ اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهِ سَمِيعُ الْأَلِيمِ and the east and the west all belongs to Allah alone. So whichever direction you turn to, there is a presence of Allah. And the essence of Allah is radiantly manifest in all direction. And surely Allah is infinite. So if Allah is everywhere and wherever you turn, you see the face of Allah, you see the radiation of Allah, then why you need a Jamaat Khana? Then why you need a house of Allah? So that is a question which uh, many uh, philosopher portrays that, okay, what is uh, the teaching in that Jamaat Khana or a Qibla or a Masjid or any house where you connect yourself with Allah. So, um, and if we need a Jamaat Thama or if we, we need a, a sacred sanctuary or something where we go and prayer, then what are the benefits do we attend from it and what are the secrets hidden in assigning the house as a name of house of Jamaat? or name of house of a community. So as a smiley, we uh, were given the name Jamaat Khana. Uh, so because smiley community uh, have a prayer and a collective prayer and have, get all the spiritual benefits from uh, this house, which is termed as Jamaat Khana. Although we say that this Jamaat Khana is also uh, Imam of the time. So. Uh, uh, Islamic teaching and guidance is in a gradual form. We always have some mold, some example in front of us, uh, like hand of Allah, face of Allah, manifestation of Allah, Baitullah. So that manifest manifestations or Zahura, that is very, very important. If we have a Zahur or if we have a manifest of Allah uh, in form of Imam who is a living personality, then we need a living house also. And that house which represents the house of God uh, and house of Jamaat. So therefore, uh, that for the spiritual progress and for the collective prayers, um, we need all smiley needs, all smiley Muslim needs, Jamaat Khana. And uh, uh, house of worship is needed by all people of faith, and particularly in Smiley Mazhab, where we really believe that Imam is uh, actually the mirror of Allah, and we can see uh, his miracles, Imam's miracles in Jamaat Khana as well. So therefore, uh, we all believe as a smiley believe that house of Allah is a mold and it is created for our progress, created for us to make our heart a Jamaat Khana. So because um, uh, as you heard from Yasmin's presentation that Allah is saying that I cannot, I am not contained in either uh, earth or a heaven, but I contained in um, um, Momin's heart. So it is very important that 
our heart is so pure that imam can uh, sit in our heart and our heart can be made jamathana but it is only possible through geographical jamathana so geographical jamathana is very very important is a is a step towards getting into the personal jamaat khana we would never get into the personal jamaat khana or we would be never able to get um, uh, noor from the imam if we have not the way of going into the house of jamaat or going into the jamaat khana therefore in quran at the time of hazrat ibrahim it is said that uh, allah said that you make um, qibla you make a kaaba and the ayat which yasmin has presented is the musa and harun has said that uh, in misr you make a jamaat khana or you may, in misr you make a place of worship so every uh, in quran there are many prophets who asked who are asked to uh, build a jamaat khana so that is very important that why is uh, this name given to house of god uh, given to uh, as jamaat khana because it's a, a communal prayer prayer of a jamaat uh, then little bit of uh, the history of jamaat khana uh, it is said that uh, god existed when kaaba or the house of god did not exist and it was constructed when the time came from hazrat adam descent uh, when hazrat adam came to earth and by the command of god angel and hazrat adam constructed the house of god so that hazrat adam and his children could have benefited to attain uh, spiritual uh, upliftment so then it is said this is all narrated in holy quran and if you see lot of uh, uh description it is said that then it was physically it was destroyed when there was a flood of noha came and it was all destroyed but then later on when hazrat ibrahim uh came then hazrat ibrahim was asked hazrat ibrahim and hazrat ismail uh were asked to build the house and then they were looking for where initially uh, kaaba was and uh, then uh, the um, 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 then the wind which is a uh, moving in the circle it came and it showed that this is the place where kaaba was built and then khana kaaba was built so this was uh, just a historical uh, foundation and at the time of prophet muhammad the uh, mosque was built why mosque was built because all people cannot reach kaaba for the daily worship the quran quran said that uh, everybody should go to allah's house and worship there but allah's house is initially was kaaba but then uh, people could not reach there so prophet muhammad then started building on the mosque uh gradually then it turns into the art and there is a specific uh, style of architecture was developed and then if you see um khana kaaba built in 600 uh, dc and now if you see in 2021 there is a great change uh, in the architecture so as uh, uh, as the time uh, grows um architecture and all other things have also grown up uh, similarly jamaat khana which is the religious house of jamaat or community or a house of god is for ismailis as uh, already it is mentioned uh, in yasmin's presentation that khanka it is for sufi um for sunni muslim uh, uses mosque and we uses uh, uh, jamaat khana but it all have the perspective of uh, house of god where uh, allah uh, sits or allah's noor can be found or can be attained so in uh, uh, there is one surah surah ali imran uh, 39 and 96 uh, it says that uh, um, build the house for the community for uh, the people and there is in the 39 it says that verily the first house set up for mankind is at baka uh, in quran it is said that the term which is used is baka which means makkah and it is blessed and a guidance for the entire people of the world so uh the point here i would like to make that um, 
um, many in many teachings of uh, Dais and even uh, Allah Mabuzulwar has said that if Allah has said first house, that means that this is the ordinal, ordinal numbers. So first house is at Makkah, then there must be second house, then must be third and fourth, and then um, like later on, a lot of masjid were built, then khanqas were built, and then jamaat khanas were built. So it is followed by from first house, which is in Makkah, and which is called Baka. And I will um, also tell you what other meaning of Baka means, that this is... Um, um, repentance also means uh, Bakka. So first house which is built for the mankind is in Mecca and then later on second, third, fourth is built by um, many prophets and in Prophet Muhammad uh, gave the name of uh, that um, Allah's house as Masjid. So uh, if we just see the Quranic terms, there are few Quranic terms uh, where uh, it is important for us because it's not that Jamaat Khana is something which is not mentioned in the Quran. It is uh, mentioned in the Quran and the different terms has been used uh, for Jamaat Khana. First of all, Qibla. Qibla in Islam has many names such as Kaaba and it uh, literally means square building. So in Surah Maida, Ayat 95, it is said that build a square building with a door. So that means that that square building is actually Kaaba. Uh, a sacred sanctuary is actually Kaaba, and then it is also called the Qibla. So if we, uh, or Smiley or Muslims, uh, face towards the Kaaba, means they face towards the Imam of the time or face towards the Imam of the time to get Nurani Taid or to get Noor. So it was built by uh, angels in, um, uh, in the personality, in the perfect man. Angels built um, this square building or sacred sanctuary in the chosen personality like uh, prophets and Imam. And then it reflects in the earth as a true Jamaat Khan. And in Daimul Islam, uh, Kazi Noman has said that actually angels in spiritual progress make uh, a personal Jamaat Khana of a perfect man. And that is the building of Jamaat Khana, which is physically. So if the physical angels, like those of us who have contributed or build, con uh, contributed in building the Jamaat Khana, that means that these physical angels are also contributing in uh, building of uh, building up in Jamaat Khana or whatever we do um, khidmat in Jamaat Khana that counts as uh, uh, making the Jamaat Khana, beautifying the Jamaat Khana, cleaning the Jamaat Khana physically as well as spiritually also. Then there is uh, another word which is uh, Baitullah. This is a little bit uh, heavy slide, but uh, it was important for all of us to just see what are the terms. So Baitullah, uh, Surah Bakra uh, 125, Baitullah means house of God. Uh, Allah, is, Allah said that, and remember, when we made this house, means the Kaaba, a central place for mankind to turn to and assemble and a sanctuary for a peace and a reward. Make the place where Ibrahim stood as a place of prayer. And we are urged Ibrahim and Smile to purify and cleanse my house. Allah is saying my house, Baiti, my house, for those who circumambulate it, for those who go into retreat, and for those who kneel down and those who prostrate themselves. So I'll come to these um, uh, all um, uh, perishtas or all angels later on, but the highlighted term which I have used is uh, very important to understand that this is the central place for all mankind to turn to. So turn to where? Turn to Imam. If we turn to Hanay Kaaba, then uh, Prophet Muhammad was there in initially, but then now where we should turn to? So that means that we should turn to Sorry. Can we can I say yes. this right again. 
now we can see yes thank you so i was explaining baitullah and this ayat which is 2 by 125 which is very profound ayat and very important ayat um if my voice is not uh, uh, clear i can uh, join from my phone no no you are doing is good. it clear yes yes it is okay okay so there are few important concepts here for all of us to um, uh, remember and all of us to like internalize also that this is the central place betullah means where allah house of allah this is house of jamaat we are calling it jamaat khana but here in quran it is says betullah house of allah so house of allah is central place and um uh, people should turn to that house of allah so now where to turn like kaaba is there but where is allah where is the manifestation of allah so actually turn to imam and do spiritual progress is actual kaaba so that means that imam which is a living uh, in jamaat khana living personality imam soul is living in there so that's where we need to turn to and that's where we can call it that this is the witness that we are turning to kaaba and turning to baitullah which is the house of uh, people or house of jamaat then uh, the other thing is um, internally imam is house of god and where it says that you go to and turn to where you will get a peace and a reward so there are two things we can get in jamaat khana one is a peace and other is reward so not all of us get peace in jamaat khana and reward sometimes even in kaaba there are a lot of other things happening fighting happenings and there were few uh, wars also happened at makkah and in kaaba uh, so what is that meaning that there there peace is not in that uh, uh, that uh, assembly but peace is there in imam of the time peace is there and reward and sawab is there in the imam of the time when we enter internally in the imam of the time and when we do uh, uh, good deeds and follow all the spiritual guidance from the jamaat khana and do the spiritual ibadat in jamaat khana in this physical jamaat khana uh, turning towards the personal jamaat khana to get the reward and the peace so the peace and the reward is in the personal jamaat khana and that can be attained uh through obedience and that can be attained to regular prayer in jamaat khana so the peace of the spirituality in the batini house we can get a peace uh where you will have a lot of rewards and we will have a lot of rewards uh, there is one other concept that uh, make the place uh, it is said to us allah has said that make the place where ibrahim stood as a place of prayer so we have to identify a place where ibrahim stood on a stone which is in the arabic it is called musalla and um, we we see that now uh, jai namaz or musalla we call it so musalla is the place where ibrahim placed a stone and then he stood up on that stone and then he built uh, khana kaaba that that is the history but now where should we find that place and where where should we find that stone where should we find that musalla so the place of prayer so uh, the batini meaning is that that the uh, stone is basically the pearl of intellect or gohar e aqal so when a momin reached after having this bandagi ibadat and spiritual upliftment in the jamaat khana he gets a lot of miracles which is in his personality and his personal life he sees first light and he sees lot of miracles he attained a reward which is a spiritual reward he attained a peace and then later on he stood in the musalla and then he sees uh, gohar e aqal and he sees the pearl of intellect is being seen and he experiences that pearl of intellect and he uh, experiences that how the kaaba was built by the angels in his own heart 
so this is the progress from a physical jamaat khana attending the imam noor and then going towards the miracles getting the reward and then getting the pearl of intellect and all the intellectual uh, marifat and then bringing it towards uh, his people so this is whole um, a journey a spiritual journey which is highlighted in baitullah so this baitullah which is house of allah is only attained with this jamaat khana where imam of the time reside and where the angels and the other big souls resides uh there is other um um half uh, uh, again uh, in this um, ayat it says that purify and cleans my house like allah is saying that please clean keep my house clean purify it for three kinds of people those who circumambulate which is those who do tawaf those who do qiyam or itika and those who uh do ruku or sujood or bow and prostrate so these are the three types of people that means that we can reflect that this ayat is saying that we need to keep allah's house clean for these three people these three kind of people so there are people who are doing tawaf or there are um, souls who are doing tawaf there are angels who are doing tawaf there are few people who uh do ataka who do ibadat which is um ibadat four to five ibadat and then later on uh, people can do lot of tasbih and ibadat afterwards as well and those who do lot of sujood as well so these three um uh, types of ibadats are very very important for to do in the jamaat khana so um the batini perspective of jamaat khana is that uh if jamaat khana is kept clean zahir uh, in the physical term it is kept clean it is good but for the batin it is also very important to keep clean because batini um batin deeds are not clean and if jamaat khana in jamaat khana we have lot of activity that uh this purify or impurify our heart that means that um angels who do tawaf angels who do qiyam and angels who do uh, ruku and sujood would not enter so it is very important that those who visit jamaat khana all smileys need to keep it clean their cleanliness in terms of physical also uh, the space and also uh, clean their heart as well so cleaning of heart is done definitely by doing the giriya wazari doing the tasbih and um, forgive and forget uh, principles so we uh, all need all smiley if we keep our heart clean then we invite um, angels who are doing tawaf itikaf and ruku and sujood so these three types of uh, arwa or souls or angels are always there in jamaat khana but it is dependent that uh, how is jamaat acting upon so the levels of jamaat khanas and the spiritual levels of is also dependent of the community where uh, community uh, which uses that jamaat khana so in uh, in the personal jamaat khana also if we keep uh, our heart clean then we will see a lot of uh, angels who does tawaf and do at the top to go to you and stays in the heart of moment so this purification is at physical level also in jamaat khana and in at the heart of a moment where uh, angels comes uh, arwa comes souls comes uh, and then these three types of soul comes and do ibadat and then they make uh, the arsh in our heart so there is one term so that was all about baitullah and that's why the baitullah is important baitullah means house of god house of allah and jamaat khana is house of jamaat so now we can equate that house of jamaat and house of god is same in terms of when momin wants to uh, spiritually progress and then attain uh the house of god house of allah through house of jamaat 
Then Baitul Ati, there is one more um, uh, concept or a term which is used for Jamaatana is Baitul Ati, which is ancient house. And uh, ancient in terms of eternal or which is always there. So Imam's Noor is always eternal, is forever. From the time of Prophet Muhammad, from uh, Adam and before that, Imam's Noor was there. So it is ancient house where the house where the imams knows reside and atik also means to liberate liberate from what to so liberate when we enter into the imam of the time or we enter into the spirituality then we liberate ourselves from the ignorance and also from the taklid is um, imitating without understanding without reasoning so you do uh, everything but not understanding it so that is also um, uh, called a takli. Then there are two other terms, Baitul Haram, Masjid Al Haram. It is a sacred house and a sacred mosque, which is uh, these two terminologies also reflect the place where it is a sacred uh, entity and there should not be impurity and there should not be a uh, few things which uh, gives a uh, message that uh, our hearts are not clean. So cleanliness and purity is also uh, required uh, in Baitul Haram and Masjid Al Haram. Uh, so which, that comes from Haram. So these are very important terminology uh, which equates Jamaat Khana. And we can say that we truly, as a smiley, those who believe in Imam of the time, actually believe in Baitullah and actually uh, turning towards the Kaaba and actually when we cleanse uh, this Jamaat Khana, we can enter into uh, actual house, which is the personal Jamaat Khana, which is the Imam of the time. Then um, um, there is another ayat, which is Ali Imran, ayat 39, where uh, initially I said that the first house, then definitely Prophet um, uh, built the first house, then the second house, third house, and then later on, uh, many houses uh, uh, was built called Masjid or Khanka or Jamaat Khana, but that is dependent on the time and the Imam of the time has built. Uh, but there is one word, it's also that the first house is at Baka. Uh, one meaning is Makka, but other meaning of Baka or Buka is Kiriya Huzari weeping and shedding tears. So it is also very important that spiritually to build Jamatana in the house of personality, in the personal world, first step, the first uh, uh, setup is the setup of Kiriya Huzari, setup of shedding tears. So without shedding tears, without weeping, without Kiriya Huzari, the first step of building Jamatana in our heart is not possible. So Girya Vazari is utmost important to build the house in the heart of Mumin. Uh, and uh, Mola, in Mola Ali, um, uh, Prophet Muhammad asked Mola Ali that um, um, uh, you do a lot of buka. This means that please ask your uh, all ummat that do a lot of buka. So buka means kiriya wazari and weeping uh, and the shedding tears in the love of Mola. And uh, definitely when Mola comes, Mola enter, we all uh, shed tears in his love. So that is the kiriya wazari important, which is the first step. Uh, then uh, the other important is a communal prayer and collective prayers, which is important. And Imam has, Maulana Hazri Imam has said in 2014 that one of the ways in which Smileys have expressed their identity wherever they have lived is through their place of prayer. So this Jamaat Khana is also Smiley's identity. And today it is Jamaat Khana. So when uh, Khanka was built, when the older Jamaat Khanas was built, but these identity now we see that Imam is building a lot of Jamaat Khana or a prayer hall uh, and smiley centers. So from 
jamaat khana and the traditional jamaat khanas if you all have seen jamaat khanas uh, in uh, uh, in kharadar which look like uh, more or less a mosque it has a tomb also but the later on then the design and the art architecture there was no tomb and uh, the architectural jamaat khana was built in a different way now this jamaat khana has been uh, built as a smiley center and there is a prayer hall so this is actually the identity wherever we live so this identity is very important because in that prayer hall actually there is a noor of imam and smileys can turn to that uh, noor do uh, ibadat and then uh, um, progress towards the spirituality very important ayat which is duai noor it says that and that lamp which is the noor is in the houses which allah has permitted to be exalted and his name to be remembered therein where his tasbih is recited in the morning and in the evening so in this duai noor it is said that this lamp is only allowed to keep in the house when allah has permitted so the tawil of allah is imam so we cannot call all the houses as a jamaat khana we cannot call anything else as a jamaat khana if imam of the time has permitted uh, that place to be called as jamaat khana so that is very important for all of us that uh, imams uh, isn is uh, important for us to uh, call anything or call uh, the sacred sanctuary as a jamaat khana however uh, allah has also permitted the heart of a momin to be built and to call it jamaat khana which is called the personal jamaat khana but this also comes with uh, doing ibadat and doing giryawazari uh, in uh, actual physical jamaat khana Uh, like Maulana Rumi says that Muhammad Bud Ibla Gahe Alam Wali Bar Takht Dil Sultan Adi Bhi uh, means uh, Ibla for uh, the whole world was Muhammad because everybody was uh, in that time and now also everybody turns towards Muhammad and uh, uh, they think that Muhammad is our Ibla but in Muhammad heart. who was the qibla or who was the sultan or who was the king is ali so in muhammad heart is was ali so in your heart imam of the time is the qibla so in our heart our qibla is allah our qibla is imam of the time where we turn to so uh, this is uh, my last slide where um, this is also very important term supreme throne a supreme throne and prosperous house um, baitul mamur and arsh e ala or supreme throne so supreme throne is imam and because why because he is the bearer of light and uh, prosperous house baitul mamur baitul mamur means prosperous house if the house is empty and if you do not find allah if you do not find allah's noor if you do not find good soul then that house is not called as baitul mamur so in jamaat khana if we go uh, we, we find imams noor we find angels uh, uh, blessings we find uh, angels who do prostrate uh, and uh, angels who do tawaf so that is all because this is the prosperous house and baitullah we already uh, have discussed that and sacred mosque is the imam of the time because masjid means the place of prostration place of sajda in the personal world of imam souls and angels prostrate to god so jamaat khana basically in the nutshell is the imam of the time and when imam guide us to build this square building or a uh, place of a worship then imam's permission is there that imams will be there however we do lot of ibadat outside that um, uh, jamaat khana it's the additional ibadat we do it but the basic um, mode is jamaat khana which is physically built from where we take a spiritual energy and then that energy can be converted 
into building the house in our own personality without the physical jamaatana without connecting it with the community uh, communal jamaatana it uh, the step is very difficult that we can progress without having this jamaatana's blessing and we have this jamaatana of uh, personal god so uh, where it says that the heart of the momin is the throne of uh, god um, and there are levels of momin like mummy says says that dil adastawar ki hajar akbar as as hazaran kaaba yak dil behtar as like uh, if you control your heart uh, in your hand then you can do haji akbar and um, one only one clean heart where imam's noor sit is better than the thousand far more better than the thousands kaaba so thousands kaaba if it is not clean but your heart is clean where it your aware imam of the noor can enter and many souls can enter this is better than thousands kaaba so molana rumi also uh, has highlighted that uh, cleansing of a uh, heart to make it pure is also very important that we can make jamaat khana uh, which is called personal jamaat khana or alam e shakhsi ka jamaat khana um uh, in the end i would like to read uh, this uh, roshnai nama peer nasir khusro has explained this um, uh, sheer that dile ahle dilas an ka baidat makan biran mara avar dad abad means the heart of the chosen ones or noble ones is kaaba of generosity and magnanimity decorate that house and don't destroy so those who are noble ones those who are chosen ones and those who are buzurg they are generous in giving us uh, ilm generous in giving us taaleem uh and giving us uh, tawi so we need to decorate those houses and do not destroy them uh, because from there you are getting lot of uh, things and this also uh, uh, denote imam of the time dai peers uh, so all those buzurgane deen who have built and those are chosen ones and noble ones who have built kaaba in their house after having those ibadat and those spiritual progress so it is also very important for those moments to go to uh, progression in the spirituality also respect all those noble ones and chosen ones so um, this is in nutshell that uh, uh, i would like to highlight few of the items which are in quran and we i i personally feel that we very much believe in uh, baitullah and actually we are the one who truly uh, go to baitullah and khana kaaba uh, uh, like that's that's uh, that's our belief so with that uh, thank you i think i have taken much of time uh, and sorry for the disturbance that occurred subhanallah 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 So, uh, Ravina Sahib, uh, Yasmin Sahib, if we have few minutes, we do have few question. The very first one, uh, comment and then a question. Comment. So, I understand no prayer place or jamaatana can be started open without the sanction of prophets and imams in the respected time. Uh, what about all the masjid other praying place that we see open every day in example church in the western countries so yes, who so, are um, to take that yeah yeah i i could only say that these all are the places of worship and they were built uh, during uh, their prophet's time so all the church were built at the time of uh, isa uh, mosque were built at the time of muhammad and uh, actually they lost that um, uh, guide 
so now there is no guide so they are still building it but for us we have a living living guide and allah is saying in quran that these houses were built with izan uh, in duai nur in, in with permission so we have the living imam so we uh, built the house of god with permission uh, unfortunately they do not have some living uh, person who can uh, say that okay you build the house there or where so they they themselves built it Well, that's that I've answered. Yes, yeah, I believe you have. And uh, my friend, if you still have a question, please repeat, and we can, she can elaborate. Uh, second question: You mentioned that without attending the Jamaat Khana, or if I could not attend the Jamaat Khana for several reasons, then are you saying my heart cannot be developed spiritually? could you share some light on that please um i can uh, try and then yes ravina can take okay over. so um i think as dr ravina just mentioned a, a little while ago how architecturally also our buildings have changed right i think there's a evolution happening there the purpose built jamaat khanas are actually called the ismaili centers right we are in a physical space but uh, it's not just a physical environment remember soul we exist here too right it, the soul is eternal okay nur malana shakri malasini has imam has clearly clearly emphasized in my understanding uh, throughout diamond jubilee practice your faith stay strong on surat al mustaqim uh, he say that uh, when nobody is looking Uh, remember your faith remember allah remember the names of the imam and throughout he has just been saying be regular in your faith stay strong on sirat al mustaqim allah's mercy surpasses everything right so if one cannot attend jamaat khana for whatever reason one can still progress provided we keep up with our personal prayers right yeah so uh, i think uh, yasmin is correct like uh, in my perspective also uh, imam has also said that uh, if you cannot go for any good reason then uh, take out your tasbih and do tasbih so that is the provision imam has given it's not somebody else has given okay i am not going to jamaat khana so i will start doing this as be at home or wherever so this is very important that izan is for imam from imam so imam has said on give given this provision that okay for any good reason if it is not possible for you you do this thing so it is similar to the jamaat khana's prayer subhanallah subhanallah bahut khoob Okay, if not, I'd like to thank you, Yasmin, Dr. Saiba. Thank you so much, as always. This was a great session, great slides. Our friends are asking for the slides and the recording already. So as soon as recording is available and slides are available to us, we will share in our group. Thank you again for joining us this beautiful, beautiful Sunday morning. Uh, may Allah Allah be with all of you. Thank you, Dr. Saiba. Thank you, Yasmin, again for your precious time um, and great uh, presentation. Thank you. Um, thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. 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 Thank you.